Yeah. Also, a special shout out to my boy Antonio. I miss you. Come back to the GM. Love you, man. All right, everybody. This is Yara here. Now we're here with Zach. He actually went undefeated today. And what deck are you playing, Zach? Bro, you always know we're playing the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. And before we get started, do you want to give any shout outs or anything you want to say? Bro, shout out to the brothers. Yeah, okay. Uh, team Red White Goo. Shout out my, to my apprentice, Zachy. Man, has okay. been on a tear right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to all of GM for being free as hell. Uh, that's it. Oh, right. and shout out to Kevin Trung because I missed him last video. Oh, okay. All right. Then sounds good. Cool. So, uh, first off, we're playing three of each kids. Uh, you need to be able to grind. Uh, so, we got them. Plus, with how many hand traps you play, yeah. uh, you just, you need to max out. You have to see at least one kid. If you see two kids, uh, it becomes like extended combo. Uh, anything past three kids, though, gets a little ugly. I've seen uh, some lists running two of these. Do you agree with that, or you like to max out on that? Uh, I just like the consistency because uh, you really have to see at least one kid. If you don't see a kid, you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then this is like really great for like Dragoon or like Ultimate Falcon because this is the only way we get past that. Okay. Uh, surely you can access code, but you don't want to blow an access code only on something like that, okay. especially if you're not going for game. Yeah, yeah. Cool, so next we're playing three parallel. Uh, it says you can't ash me, you can't Skullmeister me, none of that. Um, mm -hmm. the card's absolutely nuts, I love it. Even if you banish like the other two copies away or something with like desires, it's still really nice because then you don't have to worry about the ash or the uh, Skullmeister. Next up, hand traps. Uh, playing three ash, three bell, three veiler. These are all live if you draw them off of pranks. Uh, yeah. Hence, I'm playing Baylor over like something like Imperm. Um, is that all the hand trap you're running? This is all I'm running. Uh, oh. We don't. Really, I don't really have room for anything else because yeah. I want to keep it at 40. Uh, but other than that, everything's neat. What was the MVP hand trap of today? Do you have one? MVP hand trap. Um, I don't know. They were all, like okay. Next okay. up, fusion spells. Uh, we're playing three pandemonium, three poly. We only play the good artwork, obviously. Okay. Um, poly is honestly just a better uh, pandemonium. The card's absolutely nuts. Uh, we love seeing it. You like never really brick on it because even if you only have one kid in polymerization, that's still a uh, full battle butler setup plus any Xyz monster. Oh, okay. Um, so. It's absolutely great. I love it. It's probably my favorite extender in the world because ending on Toad or Dweller plus Battle Butler, no one's breaking through that nowadays. Yeah. Cool. Um, for extenders, we're playing two pranks. We play two because we're playing Desires. Uh, if I cut, if I like switch Desires for TTT, we'll probably go down to one. Obviously, Instant Fusion MVP card in the deck. Yeah, it's at one because of this deck. I would ask if you you would run three, but of course you would run of three. Of course right? I'd run three. Uh, <laughs> this card says uh, summon access code for free. Uh, yeah. Card's absolutely bonkers. Love it. Playing Monster Reborn. I didn't see it all tournament. I think it's good. Uh, it's nice uh, if you want to try to like chain block your normal summon. So instead of going directly into Meow Meow, you can like reborn something to try to go into Doodle beforehand. Uh, and then next best card in the deck, Three Pot of Desires. Mm -hmm. Card says draw two hand traps. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Cards absolutely nuts. You never banish anything, really. That's how you play through my board, right? You just had too many cards. <laughs> uh, fun story. Tourney report after this. Okay. Extra deck, playing the standard. Three cat. Three bird. One bow wow bark. Have to play three bird. Have to play three cat. Uh, dogs. Dog. <laughs> cool. Fusions. Yeah. Playing one of each. They're all amazing, you have to play all of them. <laughs> um, playing Unicorn, obvious reasons. Unicorn to go into access code, wonderful. Then we're playing one of each Xyz, uh, Abyss Dweller, because we're playing the parallel engine with it. Totally awesome, because it says free negate plus add drops use the hand. MVP this whole tournament, also the Earth Charmer, absolutely amazing totally helped me whoop yada it was amazing uh i'll go over my duel with yada after this i hate that oh card oh my okay. goodness okay. he thought he had me he was wrong side deck three crow 
three Imperm. Um, Imperm's not as great in this deck because if you draw it off something like Pranks, you can't use it. Uh, so that's why I chose to main Valor. Crow, I put it in the side over Bell because we had some Prankets players here at the local. And DD Crow and Bell kind of go even against most of the decks. Uh, but Bell just absolutely kills Prank Kids way harder, and I didn't want to lose the mirror, because uh, I'm not going to lose the mirror. In reality, if I was going to an event where there were no Prank Kids players, I'd probably just play Crow. Twisters, uh, I don't want to play Lightning Storm. I want to be able to play the mirror and hit things in the standby phase. Um, so I'm playing Twisters, playing three Dark Ruler no more, have to be able to do something against combo decks. Um, and then also, I mean, there was, there was quite a bit of Dragon players here tonight, so uh, I definitely felt that this was a good call. Pretty solemn judgment, best card in the world going first. Never saw it all tourney, but works out eventually. Uh, hmm. Round one, I played against Marine Sess, uh, Saf, who uh, actually won one of our Yada tournaments. Um, it was a like really cool play in game one. He ended on like his unkillable Towers monster plus 50,000 equips, and I ended up blowing him out because I drew five kids plus Polly. So I uh, <laughs> baited out his Toad Negate uh, and then made Butler. Butler summoned three Prank Kids from deck, used them to go into Axis Code, and then wiped them for games there. Uh, that was really fun. Uh, round two, I played against uh, Dragon Link player. Uh, ended up tying that one. Uh, we just didn't have enough time to play that match. Round three, played Virtual World. Chen Chen sucks. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, it's nice against the deck, but, like, it, it's not enough to win, obviously. Uh, and then round four, I played against Yada! <laughs> Yada was playing Salad. Uh, he was kind of creamy with it, but he wasn't creamy enough. Uh, game two, I ended on... Uh, Bowwell Bark with a set pandemonium and like a kitten name, and he's like, okay, on summon of Bowwell, summon contact C. So I activate pranks, discard something, summon a token, immediately go into Asa and just watch his face melt. <laughs> he thought he had it with contact C, rage, and roar, but that's not enough to stop me. Cool. So that's it. Uh, kids are great. I have no idea what Konami's gonna hit because um, it's hard to hit something in this deck. Uh, they'll probably hit Doodle, sadly, uh, and when they hit Doodle, we're just going to have to play a bunch of Bow Wow Parks, uh, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. So, question, is, is Prank Kids the best deck of the format? Obviously. <laughs> Tritron? Bad. They have to rely on Dragoon. Tri Brigade? Super bad. Like, there's there's nothing that, there's nothing. Virtual World? Shen Shen Chu Che Pass. That's so bad. That's one interruption plus Macro Cosmos. There's a reason no one plays Macro anymore. The card's bad. I mean, it's like kind of good, but it's bad. <laughs> uh, so, of course, Prank Kids best deck. No competition at all. No competition. You heard, you heard it here from Zach himself, all right, and so, all right, and Zach, thank you so much for a deck profile. <laughs>